Okay, here we have solving a quadratic inequality written in factored form. So if it's already factored, you're gonna find what we call our um, significant values. So set each one of these equal to zero. And so you get x equals negative six and x equals positive five. And then what you do is you create a number line and you mark these values um, of interest, okay? Now because it has a bar, that means there's going to be solid dots at these points of interest. But what I need to find out is I need to test a value in each interval to see if it works or not in that particular interval. So over here, I'm gonna try negative seven. In between negative six and positive five, I'm gonna try zero. And to the right of positive five, I'm gonna try six, okay? And so then if I plug in negative seven into the original um, inequality, you're trying to figure out, is this actually less than zero? So negative one times negative 12, which is actually a positive. And so positives are not less than zero. So this section does not check out. Then I would try to plug in zero. Zero plus six, zero minus five. That's gonna give me a positive six. This is gonna give me a negative five. And a positive times a negative will give me a negative. And negative numbers are less than zero. So this section does work. And then now I'm gonna try positive six. So six plus six, six minus five. Um, I'm going to get a positive here times a positive there, which when I multiply them, I'm gonna get a positive and positives are not less than zero, okay? So you really only need to worry about the signs. You don't necessarily need the value of the numbers because it's zero. So it's either less than zero, meaning negative, or greater than zero, meaning positive, okay? So this side does not check out either, which means this segment in here is the only part of my solution. And what is the interval in this segment? It's a bracket for the solid dot, negative six, up to five, and then a bracket for the five. And so your final answer is this interval right there. Now for this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna set this factor equal to zero. I'm gonna set this factor equal to zero. That one's already solved for, here I get two. So if I draw my number line, here's zero, here's two. Pick test values in between, like negative one, positive one, and three. And then see what the values you get. So here I'm gonna plug in negative one. I'm gonna get a negative times a negative, which is positive. So that is greater than zero, greater than zero. If I plug in one, I get one times a negative one. Positive times a negative is not greater than zero. So this section does not work. And then when I plug in three, I get three times a positive one, which will be a positive answer. And so this one will check out. So notice you don't have to do so much writing if you can do the signs in your head. If not, write out the steps and make your conclusions, okay? Now here, there is no, um, there's no bar under here, which means these will have open circles. And so I got two parts as my answer. So I got from negative infinity to the zero, but there's an open dot, so I have parentheses. And then because it's two pieces, I have to use the union. And then for this section, it starts at two on the left, and it goes all the way to positive infinity on the right. Always have to go with the left side, then the right side, and then do your endpoints as necessary. Infinities will always get parentheses. Solid dots get brackets. Open dots get parentheses. So the only thing that should be getting brackets at all is the solid dots. Everything else should have parentheses. Open dots and infinities.